that camera issue. We've got Dave in Washington, D.C. How are you? Hey. Um, so it, uh, I'm not going to try to defend uh, Christianity here. I'm, uh, it, that's not my mindset here. But what I'm worried about is that the I've heard you defend atheism before, that the mindset of atheism won't lead to violence. And I'm worried that if someone has it in their mind that religion is so destructive that they can take it upon themselves to silence it um, by okay, being sure, outside the law. Sure. You should um, always be worried about people who have thoughts like that. The, the thing is, is that's not anything that you can derive from atheism. It's something that you have to add something to atheism to in order to get there. So, for, for example, the, uh, in Russia, from the revolution to about World War II, um, you're saying that the mindset there was, was more focused on Lenin's ideology um, as opposed to just a, a rejection of the church's authority. Absolutely. Yeah, right, but because even, the church even if it was, was a threat to that. But that. even if it was rejection of the church's authority, you still mm -hmm. cannot draw a causal line from atheism to the mandatory elimination uh, uh, and criminalization of religion. You can't get there. There has to be, we take actions based on something we, we do believe. And atheism is a single position on a single issue. It doesn't have any tenets or dogma or edicts or anything else. And therefore, you cannot get from, I'm an atheist, to I'm going to outlaw religion without adding something else in there. There's some, some other element in there um, that the individual m or organization must adhere to in order to get from A to B. And, That's and, not true. And persecuting the religious it doesn't work, right? Uh, the Christ, Christians uh, and other religions, they're in the martyr business, and they know how to make use of, of martyrs, and they know how to make use of play up persecution. And so, you know, and if you try to do that, it's going to backfire. So, you know, the, 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 the only sane way to, to proceed here is to argue against it, to use your free speech rights, which is exactly what we're doing. So that's, that's why we're here, or a big part of why I'm here anyway. Okay. I cut you off, man. It's, it's all right. I, I just, that's kind of secondary to the issue. The issue, his, his concern is, you know, is it possible to get from a, a, a strong disbelief or a strong uh, opposition to religion to the sort of, you know, evil, quote, unquote, atheist regimes? And yes, it is. But... You have to add in other things, and it's those other things that are objectionable. That's not the case when we, it's, this is one of the reasons why you cannot draw a parallel between, for example, the, the, the Stalinist regimes, et cetera, to the harm that, that Don was pointing out that was done on behalf of Christianity. Because in the specific case of Christianity, you have this book that includes a lot of things about thou shalt's and thou shalt nots and specific instructions, and it's really easy to draw a line from thou shalt not suffer a witch to live to burning witches. It's impossible to draw a line from I don't believe in a God to therefore I think I should kill those who do. Okay. Yeah, uh, that sounds reasonable to me. Um, thank you. Thanks, Dave. Right, bye.